Well, good evening. Please take a moment to turn your cell phones off and place them on silent. Thank you. And please stand for the national anthem. and be seated. Welcome to the Hudson High School graduation for the class of 2022. I would like to extend a warm welcome to the parents, families and friends of the graduates, the Board of Education, Administration, teachers and support staff for the Hudson School District, and finally, to the graduates themselves. It's, it's great to be here celebrating your high school graduation. This past Monday, we observed a very special holiday, Memorial Day. Memorial Day was first widely observed in May of 1868. The celebration commemorated the saf sacrifices of the Civil War, and there was a proclamation made by General John A. Logan. Following the proclamation, participants decorated the graves of more than 20,000 Union and Confederate soldiers. That is where we get the laying of the flowers on graves of loved ones on Memorial Day. In honor of those who have served, those that have sacrificed in service, and those who are currently serving in the armed forces, I please ask that all veterans in attendance please stand and be recognized for your service. Thank you for your service. Another group I would like to recognize here with us this evening are the many alumni that have graduated from the Hudson School District. Those that are in attendance this evening, could you please stand and be recognized? Thank you for being such great ambassadors for our district and most importantly for our community. To our staff who have worked very hard to try and provide each and every one of you with the very best education possible, please join me in thanking one of the most dedicated staffs in the country for going above and beyond to meet the needs of our kids, our staff. And lastly, but certainly not least, are the parents and guardians here tonight. I also want to thank each and every one of you for your support in getting these children to where they are today. It is through your guidance and support that our next generation of adults will be successful. <clears throat> to the graduates, congratulations. 
Just think, it was just 13 short years ago that you walked into that kindergarten classroom, and now here you are today, one of the largest graduating classes ever, with over 450 graduates, the class of 2022. I will forever remember this class as a group of kids that faced adversity multiple times throughout their high school career and kept persevering. Not only did the end of your sophomore year or your entire junior year play out quite like we imagined, but you also endured multiple challenges this year as we navigated our way through COVID. You have all shown us what it means to keep rolling regardless of what life throws at you. This has been a very challenging last 27 months for everyone and to the graduates themselves, and to the other children in our district who have been asked to make tremendous sacrifices, I say thank you. Graduates, throughout your life, you'll experience many different types of adversity and challenges. How you respond to those challenges will define who you are as a person and also your character. I would ask that you try and practice these three things as you move through your life and face obstacles. First, I hope that you will be kind to others and to yourself, as there is far too little kindness in this world. Second, when interacting with others, and most importantly with those that you may not agree with, seek to understand before working to be understood. I have a general belief that people are doing the best they can at any given point in their life, and that some people are carrying with them tremendous baggages and difficulties. Understanding that will help you make sense of some of the things that seem senseless. And lastly, have empathy. Take a moment to realize what it might be like for other people and try to empathize with them. The ability to empathize with others or to walk in their shoes is a skill that will serve you well throughout your life. You see, President George W. Bush has said it well when he talks about seeking to understand and also having empathy for others especially in our current very polarized environment that we are in right now. He said, at times, it can seem like the forces pulling us apart are stronger than the forces binding us together. And all too often, we judge other groups by their worst examples while judging ourselves by our best intentions. Life is too short to hold on to grudges and not give people the benefit of the doubt. You never know what the future may bring, because as I tell my own children, as I have been told, tomorrow is promised to no one. So make sure that the people in your life know how much you care about them today, and never miss an opportunity to tell them that. Once again, welcome to all who have joined us here today to celebrate this momentous accomplishment of the class of 2022. Please enjoy the rest of the ceremony. Distinguished faculty, board members, family, friends, and honored graduates of the class of 2022, thank you for joining us this evening, and thank you all for providing the support, guidance, and love that has fostered the success of these fine young women and men. I am Mike Ballard, principal of the high school, and welcome to our commencement ceremony. Celebrations such as today give us pause to remember those who are unable to share the special moment with us. The class of 2022 would like to honor family members, friends, and loved ones who are no longer with us. This is symbolized by the single white rose found on our stage today. Please join me in a moment of silence to honor individuals who are in our hearts today. Thank you. Hudson School District staff members, please stand. Your collective commitment and dedication to our students has been remarkable. You made an everlasting impact in the lives of the graduates before you. Please provide our staff with a round of applause to demonstrate your appreciation for a job well done.
Thank you. This evening, we honor our graduates as they embark on the, their way to adulthood. They take away their memories and stories of their schooling, their activities and events, and their favorite teachers and their friendships. Class of 2022, I want to share with you some important reminders in life. Hopefully, you will find something that resonates with you today. Be humble and demonstrate gratitude. Listen to your moral compass and do the right thing. In all of human history, we are moving at a pace faster than ever before. Find ways to truly slow down, unplug, and appreciate the immediate world around you. Enjoy and contribute to the beautiful diversity that our world brings, no matter where you are. If you are not failing, you're not trying hard enough to be your personal best. Smile often, love passionately, and forgive easily. And finally, remember what matters most, family, friends, love, and kindness. At this time, will our inductees of our distinguished alumni please come forward? I am honored to share with you this evening our two inductees of our distinguished Hudson High School alumni. These individuals have been nominated for their qualities of extreme perseverance, excellence, and service. Thank you to the Education Foundation of Hudson for honoring the contributions of these alumni through this award. Class of 2022, consider the following individuals an inspiration. They have dedicated their lives to serving others and to contribute to the greater good. Listen to their stories as an inspiration to your own pathway of the future. Our first honoree is Terry Peterson, class of 1969. When, when you hear biggest fan of every Hudson Raider athlete since the 1960s would recognize Terry Peterson. Terry has been a lifelong fan advocating and promoting of Raider sports as well as the Hudson community. After receiving a special education diploma in 1969, Terry wanted to get his GED. So with determination and perseverance, he achieved that goal in 1996. Terry considers this his biggest accomplishment. Terry was a reporter for the Star Observer, and his article was one of the highlights of getting the paper. Terry has always been known as Terror Bear, and recognized by many from working at County Market for over 40 years. Terry never uses his challenges as an excuse. Instead, he has the ability to make his, own, his hometown learn through his example and having a positive attitude, treating those you meet with kindness, and working hard has defined a successful life. Please join me in congratulating Terry Terbear Peterson. Our next honoree is James Jim Olson, class of 1968. Jim Olson grew up in Hudson and attended St. Patrick's Catholic School. At the age of 12, he began to play the guitar and even formed a band with friends from the neighborhood. In junior high school, Jim won the Future American Craftsman Award for his promise in shop class. 
Little did anyone know that Jim would become a legend in the world of acoustic guitar making. Jim graduated from Hudson High School class of 1968 and was the senior class president. In 1971, Jim moved to St. Paul and began making guitars out of the basement of his rental house. His goal was to be able to quit his day job and make guitars full time. In 1977, Olson Guitars was born. Jim was one of the first independent Lutherers, or guitar makers as he prefers, to specialize in acoustic steel stringed guitars. In 1983, acoustic artist Phil Keege purchased an Olson guitar, giving the first real exposure to a national audience for Olson guitars. In 1989, singer-songwriter James Taylor bought three of his guitars. The two would go on to collaborate on a limited edition series of James Taylor's signature guitars. Jim built his worldwide reputation on craftsmanship and sound that brought him such clients as Paul McCartney, Paul Simon, Sting, Lou Reed, David Crosby, Graham Nash, Clint Black, and Zach Brown, to name a few. Thanks to hard work, the support of his wife, his church, and his loyal customers, Jim is nearly 40 successful years in the business and has made over 1,500 instruments. Please join me in congratulations, Jim Olson. One more round of applause for our distinguished yeah, alumni. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. You guys can go back. Thank you. At this time, as a staff at Hudson High School, we would like to announce the recipient of the Senior Staff Scholarship. This is a, a tradition that we started a few years ago. Our staff fundraise for a scholarship and then vote for a senior who embodies what it means to be a Hudson Raider. We honor that person announcing this scholarship at graduation. This year's recipient has been described in the following ways. This senior staff sp uh, sponsored scholarship award winner is described as being kind to everyone and making sure all students feel valued at our high school. This student is respectful, inclusive, and comes to school with a positive attitude every day. She exemplifies school spirit and has a big heart. She has worked with students with special needs in many capacities and desires to be a teacher in special education and has been a huge asset to both the students and staff that she helps out in classrooms. This student is best described as a bright light to all who know her and bring positivity to the space she's in. Congratulations to Krista Gladowski on being the recipient of the Scoff Scholarship. Krista, please stand. Thank you for your contributions, Krista. Please join now, me now in welcoming your class president, Mr. Blake Buchholz. Hello, everyone. I want to start by thanking the class of 2022 for this opportunity to speak. Without my fellow peers, the position of class president wouldn't be possible, and I'm therefore blessed to represent us. My name is Blake Buholtz. I'm the senior class president. I also want to thank our incredible staff that has worked so hard throughout the years. No matter if you've been in Hudson District since kindergarten or just joined this year, we've had the chance to interact with our amazing staff. They showed us that learning is more than just being told what to do, but is rather a collaboration between teachers and students. Staff, your hard work does not go unnoticed by the students. 
Also, I want to big, give a big thanks to my parents who have helped me a measurable amount to be the person I am today. Thank you, Mom and Dad. <laughs> it's my honor to welcome you all today for the class of 2022 graduation. I urge you all to please be present with me while I'm speaking. So put down your phones, look to the person to your left, look to the person to your right, Look up at your parents. Parents, look down at your kids. Give them a wave. <laughs> Just embrace this present moment and enjoy it, because this is the last time many of us will be seeing each other. <laughs> With our class, I'm happy that nobody's receiving another unexcused tardy for today. For real, though, considering our class, and what we've gone through, it's truly a blessing to see everyone all together for this long awaited day. Also, big thanks to my dad for helping me work on plenty of fun jokes for the speech. Thankfully, I won't be saying any of them. <laughs> I'm sure many of you, as I do, can remember the days of elementary school when we were seeing and hearing about what looked to be grown ups in caps and gowns for their graduation. Little did us elementary schoolers know we had a long way to go. We all had different experiences with elementary school, but one thing I think we can all look back on fondly is recess. This was our time to let out our rambunctious energy and play fun games with our peers. There was always different popular games in rotation like Gaga, Tetherball, Thunder, and many more. There was no shortage of a good time on a elementary school playground. As we wrapped up our elementary school years, we had the middle school to look forward to. One thing that stayed the same with us in middle school was our love for recess. However, without the playgrounds and fun games, we had to get creative. Instead of fun, creative games, a select, courageous few decided to do fun and competitive wrestling matches, <laughs> with most of us choosing to be spectators. We can now take pride in our infamous title for our grade, Fight Club. <laughs> As Fight Club continued, middle school staff decided to ruin our fun by implementing the dreaded assigned seats. For some, this was a chance to meet new friends they otherwise wouldn't have. For others, the large majority, this was a chance to complain and have the only enjoyable part of their day stripped from them. What cannot be forgotten about middle school is our epic dodgeball battles between houses. With an awesome way to wrap up each year, we got to channel our Fight Club competitiveness into dodgeball matches with other houses while becoming closer with our own. With our final eighth grade dodgeball tournament wrapping up, we would then be saying our farewell and moving on to high school. If we thought the beginning of middle school was rough, we didn't know what was coming for us in high school. Going from top dogs in middle school to little freshmen at the high school was a huge ego check. Something that tragically stuck us all was the loss of a classmate and friend and impacted us all whether we knew or not. Bailey's message of always smile was something that we'd find ourselves needing in the next few years. Going through the challenges of being in and out of the classroom, we found ways to gain hope and optimism that Bailey would have been proud of. When Friedrich Nietzsche says, what's scarier than an opponent who smiles while being beaten? Our class comes to mind. We were that opponent that was beaten by fate, but together, we had the courage to see the light in the darkness. Bailey helped us find our smile when we were being down. Through this, we were able to enjoy the challenges by learning from it and embracing it for what it's worth, with maybe one too many Minecraft all-nighters. <laughs> the true success of high school did not come from any accomplishments or achievements, but rather the true success came from learning from these failures and setbacks while finding meaning in them. We had to endure lots of challenges, that's for sure, but we became stronger because of it. Through these challenges, there was plenty of role models to look to within the school. There were many traits of our teachers that we could admire. Mr. Smith and Mr. Swavely's wisdom, Mr. Gurmash's authenticity, Ms. Flanagan's kindness, Ms. Doherty's ability to have fun, Mr. Yeager's discipline, Mr. Blagan and Mr. Kirkpatrick's charisma, and Mr. Hatfield's um, <laughs> character. 
There's that and so much more to be learned from the teachers at this school. But where we come in is through applying what we learn from our teachers and using it to become the future role models to those in our life as we move forward on to greater things. The challenges that we have persevered through to be where we are today cannot go unnoticed. However, what makes these experiences truly valuable is the things we can learn from them and apply to our lives as we move forward. As we look into the future, there are endless routes, endless opportunities, and new experiences that we'll embark on. This new route of opportunity may feel like a blindfolded roller coaster where we're out of control, and that is where the responsibility is on us. It shouldn't be a, a completely clear vision with a step-by-step -step guidebook on how to get that, and if that is what you're looking for, I urge you to stop because that might not be what it turns out to be. No matter what kind of person you are, the beauty of our age is not that we are starting to f fulfill these first steps to our meaning to life, but rather we find our own meaning to life. This is a journey that we'll embark on that is led by passion, where meaning and success will ensue. This isn't a one-way street with an answer found at the end. The opportunities are endless, and our real challenge is finding where to start. Knowing where to start can be especially challenging as we've constantly been told what to do and living by the standards of others. After high school, there will be a clean slate to choose from, though. We can continue to live by the standards of others, or we can take responsibility for our lives and truly develop who we are. The choice is yours. With the skills we have learned and the hardships we've persevered through, I'm more than confident that we all have the tools ready for when the moment arises. It is instead a question of if you'll let that moment pass or take full reign of the moment as it appears. In the wise words of the philosophical lyricist genius, Eminem, <laughs> in one moment, would you capture it or just let it slip? Thank you again, class of 2022, and it wouldn't be a true farewell without my sign-off. So remember, don't have a good day, have a great day. Thank you. I was still waiting for one of those dad jokes. Um, <clears throat> all right, please welcome Elizabeth E. Ray, our valedictorian. Like's a little taller than me. Hello, everyone. My name is Elizabeth E. Ray, and I am so honored to be up here speaking today. Graduation is a day we've been hearing about since before we were even old enough to know what it was, beyond the plot of High School Musical 3. I don't remember the first time I heard a teacher mention the distant, futuristic year of 2022, but I remember every time my little elementary school self saw it, I thought about how it was a lifetime away. It wasn't. The days went slow, but the years went fast, and now we are here, graduating. It's now no longer a lifetime away, but rather now, we have a lifetime in front of us. I know a lot of us have been so ready to get out of here. So yeah, let go, but also hold on to it. We are all going our separate ways in life, but we will all forever be connected. We will forever be the third graders that thought that Gangnam Style was the coolest dance ever. We will forever be the seventh graders who needed a science seats at lunch because of the recess fight club. The middle schoolers who had to worry about killer clowns on the way to Hudson Bagel after school. The seniors who almost got homecoming taken away from us because of devious licks. Most of us have grown up in this town and gone to school with each other since 2009. And some of us just got here. Either way, this is the last time we will all be sitting here together. We may be going our separate ways, but we will always be Hudson Raiders. So what now? What happens to all of us? To be honest with you, I'm nervous for the next step. I know some of you have already packed your bags to move away, but some of you are in my boat. Whether what makes you nervous is that you're moving across the country for college, or you're nervous about how to just navigate life now, it's all the same feeling of uncertainty for our future. What if we hate our college or job? What if we miss our moms? 
It seems like there's a thousand what ifs and no answers. And as your 2022 Hudson High School valedictorian, my answer is, I'm not sure. But what I do know is that we will figure it out. We figured it out in high school. My cousins went to Eau Claire North, and so my whole life, after we kicked their butt in football, shout out Mr. Cowles, or every time they were here in our great big stadium for one of my track meets, I'd hear about how we were the cake eaters and Hudson is so spoiled. And when we were freshmen and I was starting school in our school that we just dropped $93 million on, I was like, yeah, okay, fair enough. But that didn't take away from the fact I was nervous coming in freshman year. It's a huge school if you haven't noticed. I was used to having all my classes in Raider Blue, not having to go across the school for Miss Oda's math class that happened to be in a trailer outside the back while our construction was being finished. I was nervous to be a five foot, 14 year old freshman girl walking the same hallways as the six five seniors with beards who looked like grown men. I remember thinking nothing could be better in middle, than middle school, where in eighth grade, we were the kings and queens of the school. Spoiler alert, high school was a lot better. So yeah, I figured it out in high school, and now I'm standing here and I'm not entirely ready to leave. But with all those worries I have for the next phase of life, I know we'll figure it out again. After Bob Saget died in January, I found my myself religiously watching Full House reruns. Anyone else? In the midst of my binging, one quote stood up to me. He goes, don't miss out on what's happening right now just because you're waiting on something better to come along. You can't live for the future just like you can't live in the past. And I think we might be a little guilty of living for the future. I remember one day in ninth grade band, it was right before spring break, and Mr. McCarthy says to us that the best part of the trip is the car ride to the airport. That's when you're all fired up for the trip and excited for everything to come. And every moment after that, you have less and less to look forward to, and therefore that's when the trip is at its peak. I didn't get it then, and I certainly didn't agree with him, but it took me a few years, and I think I get it now. We spent every minute of high school looking forward to things. Let's set ourselves free of expectations for a minute and appreciate what we have right now. When my great-grandpa was in hospice care, one day he decided to go all life lesson mode with me. And he said to me, take life one day at a time. You can't do much about what happened yesterday and tomorrow might not come. So do the best you can today. So class of 2022, let's celebrate today. High school isn't a walk in the park for anyone, but our grade especially didn't have it too easy. After we had our longest summer ever while the building was being finished, we stepped into a huge renovated high school. We were freshmen who were just trying to navigate our way through this scary thing called high school. Then the next summer, our class got smaller. We had to face what only adults should face, grief of losing a classmate and friend, Bailey, while we were just trying to be kids. In the midst of that process, our lives got turned upside down when the little virus in Wuhan that Ms. Holm was so excited to tell us about in biology turned into something we had to think about every day. So we went home and had another longest summer ever, and then we came back and tried to adjust to our new normal. But the truth was, it wasn't normal. It's hard to act like things were normal when we had to learn what smile with our eyes meant, when we had to shout over the plexiglass when we wanted to talk to our friends at lunch, or when we went hybrid and some of our classes had four kids in person. But like we always do, we figured it out. We appreciate things more because Bailey taught us to always smile. So whether it's doing our little wordles every day or having the best student section in the BRC, we do things with a little more heart in them now because of what we've gone through. It hasn't been a walk in the park, but going forward, I couldn't be more confident that we will succeed. Ms. Forenkamp told us that since our grade was so crazy in middle school, they actually warned the teachers when we came into high school, like, hey, watch out for these guys. And maybe they were right, but for the most part, we grew up to be fine young men and women. And going forward, we will do good things in this world. So follow the rules that make sense, wear your heart on your sleeve, and tell the people in your life that you love them. Picture your kindergarten self imagining this day, and go, make them proud. Thank you and best of luck, class of 2022. Peace out, Raiders. Congratulations, Blake and Elizabeth. Really nice job. Thank you. Each year, our senior class selects a teacher to speak at their ceremony. Please welcome Ms. Cheryl Militano.
Good evening. I am incredibly humbled and excited to be the speaker for the class of 2022. This class in particular is truly special to me. For one, I had the privilege of student teaching about a quarter of this class under the supervision of Mrs. Benlin for their final quarter of seventh grade. I can safely say that most of them have outgrown their middle school tendencies. <laughs> Keyword, most. All joking aside, I know that I have coworkers who share the following sentiment with me. Teaching seniors is bittersweet. I am placed in a unique position since the courses I teach are senior dominated. I get to know the students for a semester or throughout the year if I'm lucky, and then they ditch me. Students, although I am sad to see you leave, I am truly excited for this next step in your adventure. As I thought of ways to celebrate your achievements and think of what advice that I can provide that would be most advantageous, I finally narrowed it down to the following three characteristics, resilience, progress, and success. It seemed only fitting that in my last lecture, I share the most important lessons in the mode that I feel most comfortable in, storytelling and metaphors. With resilience, it's your reaction to adversity, not the adversity itself that determines how's your, how your lives will develop. Throughout high school, I had the opportunity to take a few AP courses, one of which was AP European History. Sixth hour, be lunch with Mr. C. Our semester final consisted of a sheet of paper with several questions that we had to answer in paragraph form. Picture this, students furiously writing responses to the questions at hand. As the lunch bell rang and we gra grabbed items to go to lunch, Mr. C stated, all right, no talking about the test, okay? To which we exclaimed, of course not. We did, in fact, talk about the test. As we ate, I started to realize that some of the questions my peers were discussing I did not recall. I had an epiphany, or so I thought. Knowing that we would talk regardless, Mr. C must have given out two tests in class. I'm sure some of you can see where this is going. We headed back and continued to finish the test. I finished the exam with about 15 minutes to spare. I looked around and I saw that the majority were still working on the exam so there was time left to kill. Still, no idea. At about the 10 minute mark, Mr. C mentioned some historical joke, and we all semi laughed, the same laugh my students tell when I, well, the same laugh that my students give when I tell really awful punny jokes. Then he stated, all right, we have about 10 minutes. How many of you are on the backside? At this point, I blinked. My emotions got the best of me. In the silence, I yelled out, what, there's a backside? A moment of shock passed by and the eruption of laughter ensued. I, on the other hand, was crying, partly because I could not believe I made such a monumental mistake. And even more so, I was mortified at making a mistake. At this time, I was, and still am occasionally, a perfectionist. I would not, could not, allow myself to make mistakes. Any mistakes I made, I allowed it to, to dictate my attitude. It wasn't until I spoke to one of my close friends, Bailey, about the incident that I started to change my attitude. She stated to me, so you made a mistake. It's done. That's out of your control now. What are you going to do now? Bailey's statements made me realize that we do not always choose the situation in which we find ourselves, but we can choose our attitude towards the situation. I started to reflect about my choices, asking myself, who am I doing this for? 
Am I happy with what, what, what I was able to accomplish? Slowly, I realize that life is not live, is not meant to be lived in perfection. Now, any time I make a mistake, I do not let it dominate my attitude. Often, I can laugh because even in making mistakes, I am making the most of the situation. You may achieve resilience by allowing yourself to make mistakes. Even in making mistakes, you can learn from each experience, no matter how serious it may seem at the time. If there is one thing that I can request for you, it is that you strive for progress, not for, for perfection, which is the second piece of advice I would like to share with you. Students, I know you have been looking forward to this summer, and many of you have several different plans in place. I can tell you right now, I'll be spending it in my second most favorite location, my garden. In gardening, there are certain things I can control. Assessing and supplementing the dirt composition, the type of fertilizer I use, how often and when you water, pruning the plants, and weeding. But in life, there are certain things that are out of our control, like when the weather decides to take a turn for the worst and aggressively pelt golf-sized hail at your newly planted plot, or the unceasing number of garden pests that decide to raid your garden. Life will throw you your own storms, not getting the job you originally hoped for, your vehicle deciding to die out unexpectedly, the fact that you had to go through school through a pandemic, relational, relational conflicts, etc. Even in these instances, when you feel like there are things you can't control, I hope you focus on what you can. Whatever instance it may be, you are able to control your attitude, words, actions, and effort. As you leave high school, I hope you allow yourself to progress in whatever capacity you choose. Furthermore, I hope you are patient with yourselves as you maneuver through this next step. Like plants, we all grow at different rates. Each of us requires different amounts of the same elements. Whether you decide to continue your learning at a university, a trade school, a mentorship program, at boot camp, a position of work, or you choose to take a gap year, you will thrive when you are in your element. Choosing your attitude is, in these circumstances is half the battle. My last piece of advice is that there is no one exact formula for a successful life. As my students know, and friends, I can be super competitive, and sometimes my definition of success is having bragging rights after an intense game of slapjack, chess, or Mario Kart. Students, you now have your life ahead of you, and unlike a game, unfortunately, it does not come with a manual for success. Though life can be quite like a game, and I'm not just talking about the game of life. Throughout your life, you will come across several objectives. Some will build upon your main purpose, while others will be more side quests. In those variation of quests, some will require teamwork to help you succeed, while others will require you to solo to reach the achievements. Whichever you accomplish, each quest is worthwhile as you will always benefit from its experience. Likewise, as you continue on your journeys, remember to take care of yourselves. Allow yourselves to recover. Even champions have cooldowns. Whatever course you choose, I hope each and every one of you has a successful life. Success is ambiguous. When we imagine success in our lives, some of us may have similar ideas, a specific life goal, or lifestyle, and maybe we don't. Some of you may already have mapped out a five-year, a 10-year plan to achieve success. And, or maybe some of you are able and willing to fly by the seat of your pants, and that too is fine. 
I hope that you determine your success solely upon your advancement from one point to the next, rather than comparing your successes to others. Each of your progressions will likely be different depending on what you decide to do. In summary, when things go unexpectedly, like finding out there's a backside to a test, or your garden is pummeled by hail, or that you get second place in a game, I hope you make the most of those situations. Students, I'd like for you to take a moment to think about those that are on this stage, in the audience, and those tuned in at home. We are so proud of you and all that you have done and achieved thus far. No matter where you are headed, I hope you do not forget that you have many people who support your successes. I hope that you are able to be resilient and progress to that goal. Students, your impact on me is something I will never forget, and I cannot wait to see what impacts you will continue to make in your future endeavors. Thank you, and congratulations, class of 2022. Thank you, Ms. Militano. At this time, will our senior singers and chamber choir please move to the risers for the song, How Can I Keep You From Singing, under the direction of Ms. Heisler and Mr. Andrew Hayes. Sir! 
School Board President Jamie Johnson, it is my pleasure to inform you that the students before you, the class of 2022, have met all the necessary graduation requirements designated by the state of Wisconsin and the Hudson School District and have earned the recognition of Hudson High School graduate. School Board President Johnson. All right, thank you for that applause. It's much better than silence walking up to the microphone. The mission of the Hudson School District states that we are dedicated to developing caring and contributing community members. Now, it is our hope the district, the board, teachers, administration, that this class does turn out to be caring and contributing community members. However, we're not gonna know that for another 60 or 70 years. And you thought your final semester exams were long. There are three standards of aptitude to be a caring, contributing community member, and those are gratitude, kindness, and generosity. Now, without taking anything away from your graduation here tonight, we don't ever accomplish anything great completely on our own. We need to recognize and be grateful for the efforts of others that are providing support along the way. I'm gonna have four Fred Rogers uh, quotes. Um, you know Mr. Rogers' neighborhood? And he said, anyone who does anything to help a child in his life is a hero. Now, students, in your case, your lives have been touched by many heroes. Your parents, your grandparents, your teachers, your coaches, your principals even. But at this time, why don't you stand and join me in appreciating and showing gratitude to your heroes, whether they're here physically or in spirit. Please rise and give them a round of applause of gratitude. All right, you get a passing grade on that first standard, gratitude. Now, second Fred Rogers quote, there are three ways to ultimate success. Couldn't say that. Three ways to ultimate success. The first way is to be kind. The second way is to be kind. And the third way is to be kind. Fred Rogers also said, all of us at some time or other need help, whether we are giving it or receiving help, each of us has something valuable to bring to the world. That's one of the things that connects us as neighbors and community members. In our own way, each of us is either a receiver or a giver. Here comes the fourth and final quote. I thought Fred Rogers was the perfect person to use to drive home the point of being a caring and contributing community member. And someday you'll be old like me and it'll be 42 years since you walked across the stage at high school graduation. The Fred Rogers quote is, I hope you're proud of yourself for the times that you've said yes, when all it meant was extra work for you and was seemingly only helpful to someone else. So be grateful, be kind, be generous, and you will become a success at being a caring and contributing community member. And with that little lecture, on behalf of my fellow members of the Hudson Board of Education, it is with gratitude pride and humility that I accept the class of 2022. At this time, we will present the diplomas.
Kurzhand. Devin, Danny, R. Jameson. Daniel Patrick Karen. <laughs> Elijah W. Hunterman. Erica Marie Aldrich. Tanner John Abram. Nathan John Ammon. Alexander Hayes Anderson. Chase A. Anderson. Mallory J. Arndt. Fletcher Anderson. Ryan Heath Arthur. Daniel Joseph Arnold. William Christopher Ashenbrenner. Taylor Brooke Ashenbrenner. Margaret Barker. Isaiah B. Aza. Landon Nicholas Barum. Joseph Rodney Bartles. Jocelyn May Beaver. Wiley M. Bomber. Gretchen Rose Banky. Noah Zachary Beckemeyer. Sonia Jua Bell. <laughs> Natalie K. Bendlin. <laughs> Cody Alton Benoy. <laughs> Thea Eleanor Bentley. Madison Ray Berg. Aiden James Bergman. Ayush Bakta. Lucas John Biederman. Samantha Jo Bjork. Yeah. 
Riley R. Bishop. Caitlin Elizabeth Bowl. Ava May Blank. Jada Nicole Boilo. Samuel Joshua Bonas. Samantha Lauren Borchardt. Troy Milton Bounting. Tristan Louise Bradley. Ian Alder Branson. Quentin J. Bratch. Ava Joe Bro. Samantha Aaron Bride. James Brett Patrick Breitenstein. John Patrick Brendel II. Billy Brozek. Annalise M. Brozak. Mason William Bruce. Lucy McKenna Burtek. Andrew R. Bryant. Hannah Brusky. Gregorio Buenrostro. Blake Elliot Buholtz. Christina Rose Busey. Quincy Alexander Burns. Carter William Busta. Matthew James Busher. Peyton Michael Butterfield. Emma Ray Booth. Jace Rulian Calkins. Antoine Cade. Christian Jacob Carlson. Maya Lynn Caples. Melinda M. Sigelski. Wow. 
Selena Marie Carlson. Court Anthony Chido. Hattie B. Carr. Stephen Herman Clark. <laughs> Jeffrey R. Cernahaus. William T. Conan. Aiden Roquan James Christensen. Malia Ann Marie Collins. Aubrey Lee Klausnitzer. Brandon Michael Connolly. Andrew Brennan Coffey. Heather Allison Cooper. Zoe Grace Colombo. Avery Blue Covey. Sydney S. Cook. Henry Bennett Saprina. William J. Koppenbarger. Sophia Louise Saprina. Carly Marie Crowell. <laughs> Haley Elizabeth Dahl. James Anthony Saprina. Jaden Nicole Dana. McKenna Ryan D'Amico. Adam Christopher Don. Isabel Hazel Dalton. Charles R. Dean. Bella Grace Dasso. Jackson Ryan Dewing. Elijah M. Davis. <laughs> Ava May Diesner. <laughs> no. 
Jackson J. Davis. Mason Emily Dixon. Nolan Patrick Deason. Abby Lynn Dorr. Elias Nels Dirks. Braden J. Ducharme. Claire Margaret Diethert. Matthew Christopher Dunn. Sophia Patricia Donna. Jack Norman Edwards. Ashley Rose Dorr. Stephen Cody Elmquist. Brennan M. Ducharme. Sydney Ray Evenson. Jack T. Edeen. Alexander Thomas Ewig. Jacob Russell Ellingson. Carly Marie Fairbanks. Megan Ann Erickson. Megan Nicole Ferrara. Kenton Aaron James Everhart. Menon Julie Field. Ashlyn Corday Marie Faber. Madeline Rose Fish. Erin Michelle Farrell. Benjamin Thomas Forsier. Marie Field. Nixon Mackina Franta. Bailey Ann Finch. Sydney Ann Gabriel. Oh, 
Noah Richard Flatham. Nolan Patrick Jareds. Megan Jane Ford. Bridget Elizabeth Gerhardt. Caleb Andrew Fravel. Maxwell David Giblin. <laughs> Kayla Danielle Gavaretti. <laughs> Madison Olivia Gillen. Samuel Francisco Gerard. Krista Elizabeth Gladowski. Anya McKay Getchell. Grace Victoria Gertsen. Bailey Ray Glasspool. Andrea May Gravseth. Lynn Ashley E. Gobina. Gretchen Emily Gunderzik. Juan D. Gomez. Sophia Ann Palama. Marissa Lynn Gunderson. Jacob Christopher Hansen. Brielle L. Hagen. Tyler D. Hardman. Jasper Edward Helverson. Jonathan Thomas Hartwig. Kennedy Hannah Hansen. Timothy Yakub Hasapopoulos. <laughs> Jada Lynn Hartwick. <laughs> Emma Jolene Hatch. Alexis Marie Harwell. William Jansen Haverly. Travis James Hostrider. <laughs> 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 
Tyriana Shanetta Hayes. Brett Robert Hauser. Grace Cortland Hedin. Drew Z. Hay. Cameron Logan Helterbrand. Benjamin Timothy Heckman. Jacob Peter Henneman. Andrew L. Heiser. Braden John Hess. Paige Alexandra Hemphill. Anden S. Hindall. Chloe Drew Heffler. Shelby Lynn Hanaki. Brandon A. Hillman. Sophia Rose Huber. Gabriel Thomas Hockbein. Isaac A. Huth. Lucas Michael Holter. Dimitri Eric Jackson. Kyler Niall Hove. Delaney Jadwin. Paige Elizabeth Hurtgen. Caitlin Claire Jansen. Charles Nicholas Iverson. Ava Grace Jensen. Claire Mary Jacoby. Kellen Thomas Jensen. Grant Thomas Jamison. Theodore Allen Johansson. Abigail Janicki.
Ellie L. Johnson. Kayla J. Jarpy. Ellie May Johnson. Benjamin R. Jensen. Keisha Collette Johnson. Sydney Alexis Jensen. Mackenzie M. Johnson. Alexis Lee Johnson. Sophia M. Johnson. Coleman E. Johnson. Lily Faith Jorgensen. Isaiah Brandon Johnson. Isabella Rose Junker. Kayla A. Johnson. Claire Ann Keach. Riley M. Johnson. Bailey M. Kenning. Spencer Sean Johnson. Kayla Nicole Klatt. Michael Benjamin Zhang. Sarah Catherine Kleber. Faith Catherine Kelso. Sajin Elizabeth Klepp. Tristan Timothy Blake Kemp. Kendra Klosek. Emily Grace Kleiber. Abigail Martha Kanoki. Delaney Ray Clements. Evan J. Kostinik. Skyler J. Klund. Jack W. Kraft.
Zachary James Kokendorfer. Meg Lauren Kretschmer. Haley R. Kowalczyk. John Michael Kramenacher. Alyssa Noel Crone. Colton Michael Kremenauer. Callie Marie Krieger. Jordan Marie Cushy. Jacob E. Cutterly. Jaden Michael Legacy. Tabor Troy Kuncher. Aaron Michael Langert. Memphis Byron Labor. Sylvia Nicole Liberatori. Ben Larson Land. Cassie May Linda. Flynn Mira Natalie Lenzen. Caleb R. Lindley. Avery Ella Leela. Aubrey K. Lowe. Brianna Monique Lindy. Jenna Ruth Lund. Jackson J. Lloyd. Olivia Paige Maz Henderson. Drew Thomas Lowy. Devin Daniel Malloy. James M. Lewinberg. <laughs> Katrina V. Manchenda. <laughs> Mitchell John Lytle.
Brooke Mary Martin. Owen Malanafi. Caitlin M. Marks. Owen Fabian Marnell. Matthew William Maurer. Anna Victoria Martins. Cash Michael McConnell. Garrett W. Mao. Liam Dietrich McDonald. Zachary Robert McCarthy. Emma Jean McGrath. Jenna Mabel McCorkle. Cecilia Marie McMiniman. Haley Feline McGee. Esme Mergendahl. Megan Alice McGrath. Owen Jeffrey Michelson. Carter Jeffrey Mears. Eden Gloria Mitchell. Bryce David Meyer. Christian John Moulton. Madeline Rose Milky. Trevor L. Nava Barber. Madeline R. Mitchell. Cole Nelson. Robert Tyler Moody. Joseph Craig Newell. Alexander V. Munich. Woo! 
Braden R. Omki. Grady Andrew Near. Elizabeth Lee Olson. Nicholas Matthew Nelson. Caleb Francis Opatz. Canyon A. Nissen. Garrett Theodore Pals. John Riley O'Neill. Tyla Carol Marie Peterson. Samuel Barry Olson. Grace E. Pesavento. Josiah Christian Opatz. Ethan Lane Pitzer. Colin James Palmersheim. Adrian Antonio Portillo. Leah Q. Parker. Ezra James Pressure. Samuel B. Penfield. Rowan A. Pruitt. Kristana Jean Peterson. JC Lynn Puckett. Mary Elizabeth Philipson. Dante James Rensinici. Benjamin R. Plansky. Luke Edward Richards. Abigail Grace Potter. Reese Kenneth Richardson. Haley Elizabeth Prince.
Alexa Ann Richter. Benjamin Noah Prusek. Brooklyn Nicole Reby. Ella Grace Quiney. Denman Jude Rohde. Andre Pedro Renta. Abigail Lynn Romzek. Layton Sean Richardson. Aubrey Ann Ross. Colin A. Richard. Mary C. Rother. August Lyndon Richter. Kylie J. Rudiman. Charles R. Rieger. Isaias Emmanuel Sanchez. Julia Anna Rodriguez. Ella Mackenzie Shenley. Ethan Charles Ronigan. Lydia May Schrader. Evgenia Maria Valentina Roth. Emma Joy Schneider. Kieran G. Rudiman. Ellie Francesca Scott. Zachary Ryan Sackett. Lauren L. Scott. Grace Alexandra Sarak. Josh D. Sipple. Kaylin Elizabeth Shenz. Ava Isabel Seawick.
Corinne Victoria Schilling. Gabriella Victoria Slykew. Adria Emily Schmidkunz. Brianna Lynn Smart. Benjamin David Schrader. Blake A. Smolinski. <laughs> Logan J. Schuett. Avery G. Solhide. Isaac R. Scott. <laughs> Joe Paul Summers. Leo Paul Simenez. Ella R. Sporn. Hunter Nicole Civic. Sarah Elizabeth Steele. Jonathan F. Scott. Samuel Robert Steckman. Blake Allen Freedom Smart. Gabriel Brian Stoles. <laughs> Andre Glenn Smith. Campbell, Sophia Straw. Stephen James Smolinski. Eric Michael Steubendick. Jennifer Somerville. <laughs> Maya Marie Sousa. <laughs> Ella Noel Susie Gusso. Bailey A. T. Winkle.
Lola June Stanton. Thomas Anthony Tazell. Neil Henry Stevenson. Parker Anthony Thien. Logan Edward Stoll. Emily Ray Phil. Elizabeth Marie Stracoda. Jenna Rose Timmerman. Samantha Ann Strumke. Aiden Richard Tuzano. Joseph Robert Sullivan. <laughs> Sophia Elizabeth Trepto. <laughs> Preston Lee Swanson. Quinn Daly Tretzfin. Evangeline N. Tao. Kira Marie Trumbull. Lindsay Kate Telke. Evan D'Angelo Tyler. Liam Thorson. Lily Elizabeth Van Allen. Jonathan L. Tostrud. Nathaniel John Vaudre. Christian Thomas Trenda. Carl Henning Vilwak. Abby Marie Trunis. Brody G. Von Berg. Maya Catherine Tudor. Ryan Marcus Voss. Jillian May Ulrich. Yeah. 
Cody James Wagner. Taylor Van Dyke. Reed Daniel Wagner. Benjamin Scott Wienendahl. Gabriel James Walleen. <laughs> Logan P. Von Berg. Sydney Grace Warren. Sean Michael Wackoltz. Owen Douglas Wedge. Emmy Jo M. Wagner. Skyler Thomas Weinzerl. Elijah R. Waldschmidt. Hank Andrew Weddelson. Jaden M. Warner. Ashton Che White. Jack B. Wasmond. Avery Joe Williams. Molly Catherine Weber. Ian R. Williams. Barton Cooper Thomas Whip. Zachariah James Williams. Ava Elise Wilbur. Michael William Worth. <laughs> Quinn McKay Williams. Noel Valentino Wisty. Ethan Scott Winkles. Sydney T. Wood.
Scout Juliette Wissy. Luke Michael M. Woodwick. John Robert Witcher. Jordan Isabella Yacoub. Charlie Everett Woods. Madison Christina Yoakum. Michelle Zhang. Elizabeth Claire Eray. Canon Christopher Urama. Mara Zimmer. Kira Aline Young. You just don't know. Courtney J. Zignego. <laughs> Hannah Arlene Zern. Paige Anita Westfall. Paige graduated from Marine Boot Camp in Paris Island, South Carolina on April 22nd, 2022. Private First Class Westfall is currently stationed in Pensacola, Florida, where she is studying aviation electronics. Quick note, parents, we ask that you congregate in the plaza, plaza area and avoid the track and football field at the conclusion of our ceremony. And now for the moment that we've all been waiting for. Students, please stand. Move your tassels from right to left. Families, guests, and faculty, it's my honor and pleasure to present to you the class of 2022.